Hello there, governor. Oh, Mr. Sue. Yeah, right there, Mr. Sue. Oh, shit, my mic's on. Take a dump, a real quick speed dump. Back shots would go crazy. Uh, 5,000 in ETH on my exit. Now I'm going to take a shit. You guys saw when I went into the bathroom and looked up Kelsey Monroe? Oh, hey, kitty. Damn, that pussy nice. They just called me in the office. I used to just whip it out, and it usually works, but come on, someone's going to squirt. We're in! We're in! Hello, everybody. It's me, Pickle. And I'm back with the boss man, Jack. So we continue on with the Wii Up stream. This is part three by now. I told you guys I would split this into three parts. There might have to be four. It's not that I couldn't crunch all of this into a single video, but then we'd be missing a lot of interesting information and funny bits. Some people have done that already. I want this to be more of a complete experience. For those of you, you can't just put up with watching a boss man stream for like four hours and rely on people like me to shorten it down to bite-sized pieces. And if you've been loving my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps, and it's greatly appreciated. So as I was saying, Boston here is going to give us a little room tour. He's going to be flexing on his rats with all the things he's been buying. He's going to gamba. He's going to interact with some of the other characters in the rehab. He's going to show us around a little bit still, both inside and outside. And he's going to make us laugh like he usually does. So last episode, I teased you guys with the room tour. So let's start with that. I'm curious to see just how well Boss Man has kept his room. He certainly won't have treated the rehab room just like his own room at his parents house right surely he's gonna keep it nice and tidy right guys okay folks let's get on with the show uh, let's go in my room and chill i'm not gonna be as loud in there but no i've never done streams no i don't think i need them i know it's surprising i've never done them but i've had them before i always traded them for coke or fucking weed or something but I've, I've never like had the balls to really do them i like have like the right environment or, like the right people to do them with or like whatever so i didn't want to do them by myself you know so I'm walking into rehab. Uh, you can stay up as late as you want, but you gotta wake up at like seven, like early, dude. The first meeting's at like 7:30, so you gotta be up. You gotta be up for that. You can stay up as late as you want. Oh, sorry. I'm walking upstairs right now. You guys wanna see a room tour? Walking up the stairs. My room. You know me. I stay clean. I mean, everything's spotless. All my clothes are folded. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way I roll. I don't. I don't do dirty. You know what I'm saying? Clean like a boss. You know what I'm saying? So if like something's not in order, it, it wasn't me. What the f dude? What the f you d who the f was in my room, bro? Bro, who the f was in my room, dog? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey guys, look at my new hoodie. It's fire, dude. 150. I love the color of it, dude. I've always wanted a, a hoodie like this. I mean, it's literally just a polo symbol on it, but 150 dollar hoodie, dude. 150 bucks for that bitch. I know, dude. I'm very careful. Look at my shoes. Like they're underneath the bed. Cause I don't trust people, dude. The new Yeezys I got. I don't know if y'all have even seen these yet. Got the new Yeezys. Love them, dude. I really like them. They're uh, 700s. Yeah, aren't they nice? Hey, but dude, look with this hoodie. The hoodie, you know what I'm saying? With the brown bottoms. With the polo. And that's why I got that color polo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna put my phone down. I'm gonna take a dump, a real quick speed dump. I'm sorry, guys. Enjoy the uh, ceiling while I'm gone. Actually, I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to hear y'all. Just in case there's like some sound effects. I don't want y'all to hear the splattering and noises. I'll be right back. Right, you rats. Are you feeling flexed on? None of y'all better be surprised at <laughs> how he's kept his room. Did any of you really expect him to change? And if this isn't foreshadowing as to what is to come as soon as he's out of rehab, I don't know what is. No matter where he goes or where he stays at, his old habits will always come back. It's always wild how he tries to flex on people with this sort of stuff when he doesn't have a car, he doesn't have his own place. Whether it be renting or owning it. This is a 29 year old man still living with mommy and daddy. And the only things he tries to flex on us with is with depreciative assets. Can you even call them assets? He's just a consumer. Proving yet again how he's basically 16 years old in his head. I think he should be done shitting now. I'm gonna go see him waltz about the place. Interact with some of the people there. Hey dudes, there's none. That would be bad. I'd have to use my shirt or my socks. Listen how I'm out of shape I am. We have hands for a reason. Oh yeah, just use your hands. What do you do with it after it's on your hands? Here's one of the meeting rooms. This is where we have our meetings. See? And it's usually packed. It's usually like full, like full, full house. Painted on the walls. <laughs> yeah, fish tank. Yeah, there's a fish tank here, yeah. What up, Cody? Wanna say hi to the stream or not? Why not? You camera shy? Come say hi, dude. It's only hundred some people. 96 people. It's just, a, it's not even Twitch. It's, it's my Discord stream. Look at this guy, we're pimping. Great, Miami pimp. <laughs> That's my boy. He's cool as shit. He plays RuneScape or did, and plays Call of Duty and shit. Cool dude. 
I had to come get some toilet paper. Yeah. Yep. Please don't forget the what? Oh, uh, well, I was hoping you could do it for me. Huh? Once that stream's over, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. He said, once that stream's over, maybe. Disgusting. Disgusting. He is. He is cool as shit. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. That's probably my favorite. My, that's probably my favorite person in here. All right. Now I'm going to take a shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all do detox there? No, uh, they don't do benzos or nothing, dude. Nah, they don't. There's no narcotics here at all. That You can't have Adderall. You can't have Xanax. You can't have none of that. But if you like are coming off of Xanax, if you're coming off of benzos or alcohol, which if you didn't know, those are the only two things you can actually die from, from withdrawing from, meaning you drink so much and you stop drinking, you can literally die. Same with benzos. You do so much benzos and you just stop them cold turkey, you can literally die. But they, they'll like send you to like the hospital until you're good and then you come back here. Nope, nope, nothing. None of that. None of that, princess. Nope. None of that's allowed. No, none of that. None of that's allowed. It's like, it's like you're sober. If you're here, you're sober. Literally, like definition. Which I don't think there's anything wrong with suboxone methadone. It's just you're not, you're not really sober. Which I think is totally an okay and okay option for people to do. It's just, it's just not allowed here. Yeah, so. But yeah, I'm gonna do my do do my business. Give me like two minutes. Thousands of tears later. Oh, Mr. Sue, yeah, right there, Mr. Sue. Oh, yeah. oh shit, my mic's on. Oh, Mr. Sue, get out of here, get out, get out, get out, Mr. Sue, get out. Oh shit, guys, guess what else I bought? I forgot to tell y'all. You know, Elden Ring, y'all. Everyone was always saying like, dude, gotta go with the controller, bro. Gotta go with the controller, bro. So I went ahead and bought a controller. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. Just a PlayStation one, but still. Yeah. Man, dude. Bam. By the way, my new computer still hasn't shipped. Yeah, I wish there was a PS5 here. That'd be cool. Anyways, let's uh, let's do some more crypto. I'm already down 250, bro. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Let me get another drink. I think I'm just gonna do 500 this time. No, let's just do another for 250. 250's plenty. You know, they. I think I can. Yeah. I was actually gonna buy like an Xbox 360 or maybe a One and get like Halo for us to play and shit. But um, there's no TV. I'll show you. I'll show you. In the meeting room right here. I'll show you. This is the meeting room. There used to be a uh, TV right here in the corner. Right here, there used to be a TV, but there's not one now. So I don't know if that's if I can still do that or not. But if I can, I'll probably buy like an Xbox for the time being, you know, just and let them keep it. Let them keep it here or whatever. How about showing you guys how I eat bananas? Not like that. It's not what you think. I eat it from the sides so no one can call me sus. No, I really don't. I saw a baseball player doing that shit. They fucking, dude, there's like a baseball player on live TV. He took his banana. Listen. He took his banana and like would cut it from the sides and then he would he'd eat it like a fucking. I'm like, bro, it's not that serious, bro. There's a rec room, it's small. I'll show you it. There's TV rooms too. I'll show you. I'm just gonna make my banana my snack. Oh, I had an apple too. Hold on. I love apples. See, I like apples. I fucking love apples, dude. I used to smoke out of them a lot too. Big balls apple. I'm gonna be chubby by the time I get out of here, I swear, dude. There's too much food at my exposure. First TV room. Yeah, right. Comfy, you know, comfy couches. We got the second TV room, you know what I'm saying? And yes, yeah, nice size, nice size TV screen in there and shit. So on your first weekend, you can't leave, but on the second, third, and fourth, I guess if there is a fourth, you can get like passes and you can go out with family members or friends or whatever. So and we are sleeping. There's no meetings today, really. So weekends are really chill. Here's my room. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Oh, the beds are pretty comfy. I remember the day I got here when I laid down. I was like, oh my God, this is so much better than that prison mat, dude. In jail, you literally get like, you remember those like jail mats? I'm not jail mats, the gym mats. In gym, you do like exercises on. Those like mats are like this thick. That's what you sleep on in jail. That's it, that's all you get. I had a roommate, he left yesterday, last night. So last night was my first night by myself. Yeah, no roommate right now. I love this angle of you. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. What? What does that even mean? Diddy on the mats. I need to get that girl downstairs up here. Oh my God. Who's better looking, me or Gary? <laughs> me. Whoa. Some baby oil and a big black booty. Okay. <coughs> I know I've heard sh uh, sh sh Shigutin and now. Game consoles in jail? Wow. I think in prison you can do that here. Not in jail, definitely not jail. The difference if you're wondering is, prison is where you do a year or more time and then jails where you do 12 months or less, I guess. The jails are way worse, which doesn't make sense at all if you ask me. You think the longer the longer terms would have worse conditions, the more serious crimes, but the minor crimes you get, it's the worst conditions. Dude, jail is awful, dude. I'll be here for a month. I've been here for, for what three days, four days. I'll be here till like the twenty. It's gonna be a while. Uh, man's, you really want to? <laughs> yeah, I know. 
No, then no, you can't. Unless you get really lucky with a CO or something. There was a good looking CO in there. Bad Puerto Rican. She's the one that came and kicked me out of my pod when that pussy boy came and hit the little the little microphone button. This little 18 year old, listen, tried to fucking fight me in there. But it actually worked out for me. Cause this is what happens when you go to, when you got court there, right? They wake you up at 3.30 in the morning. Say like you have court at nine. You actually have to go there. They take you there in a van. They put you in shackles, but they can put you in this, what they call the cold room. You have to sit in this gym with this, like, has no ceiling. So it's like, if it's cold outside, it's just, it's a cold room, no matter what. You have to sit there and you have to, like, ball up for hours before your court date. But since the kid went and snitched on me or got scared and snitched on me, they took me to my own little cell at the front of the jail. And I got to sleep all the way until my court, until I, we had to, until the very second we had to leave. So it worked out perfectly, bro. No, I didn't get put in solitary confinement. I got put in my own cell for like three or four hours because this kid's, he, they were going to put me in another pod. But I got released from jail after I went to court. They gave me a bond to come to rehab. So, yeah. They put you, they, they shackle your, your legs. They shackle your arms together in front of you. And you walk into court like a goddamn fucking animal. Absolutely. I'm 10 days sober. I'm going to stay sober too, boys. I'm not even, even going to smoke weed anymore. I'm going to put, like, recovering drug addict in my Twitch bio and have my clean date there and everything. Y'all are more than welcome to hold me accountable, too. <coughs> right, rats. All right, guys. You heard the man. I'm going to hold him accountable. How do you guys feel that's going to go down? Because I bet that as soon as he's out and he starts showing signs of going back on the hard stuff, he's going to be banning, insulting, abusing anyone trying to hold him accountable like he just said he wanted us to do. Now, I heard some of you in the comments thinking... Oh, Pickle, you're so harsh on the man. Listen, this is the fourth time he's there, or fifth or whatever. This dude works in cycles, all right? So don't, don't, don't fall for it, thinking, oh, he's changed, oh my lord, hallelujah. No, we have to wait. Me and a lot of rats, we already know how this is going to go down. But listen, I'm always open to be proven wrong. As I said, I have to be proven that I'm wrong. So until Austin is out back in his parents' place and actually staying sober of his own accord, then I'll believe it. Until then, he is still a drug addict. The only reason he's not using anything right now is because he was forced to stop. And a lot of you guys that have might have gone through this or know about this stuff have said that unless he goes to rehab of his own accord because it's his choice, then that means he's going to get better. This is not it. He is only in rehab to not be in jail. That is it. I want to do better. I want to make my parents proud of me. I have a lot of capability. Have, I'm capable of a lot more, man. I'm doing NA meetings here every day, Kaza. NAA. We have NA and AA meetings here every day. I'm I'm already involved in it. I got to get my chip, my, my coin, my first coin or whatever. Chip thing. All right, let's get some crypto. Hold on. Yep, I got the money. I got the money, guys. <coughs> oh, sorry. Hey, let me try something to my Exodus real quick. Real quick. 5,000 in ETH on my Exodus! <laughs> that didn't sound believable at all. All right, you guys ready? All right, there we go. $246 start. Austin Boss Sober. I love it. Whoa, I thought I got something right off the rip, dude! This thing's gonna score about 200, bro, I'm telling you. Oh, $15, nice. Oh, guys, 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 guys! Come on, give me one! No! Oh, what's that, guys? What's that? Whoa! We got something. We got something, guys. Come on, baby. Oh, I spin him. I, I manually spin him. Whoa! 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 <laughs> yeah! Oh, my God! Whoa! Dude! Total win, 160 already. Let's go! Come on. Come on. Give me one more. One more. No! Damn, dog. Damn. Take it, though. Damn, dude, that was such a good start, too. Bro, I thought I was fucking back in. Oh, dude! What? We're in! We're fucking in, dude! Oh my god! No way! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> no way! 500x guaranteed? Here we go! Oh my god! Come on, bro! Oh my god! Come on, dude! What the? <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. I thought you guys said 500 next guarantee. I think I should leave on that note. 350 lowest, just in case we get really lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. No, f you. Oh, one short. Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No. Wow. I'll go a little bit more. There's three more of these, I'm gonna up the price. One, two, three. Okay, go up to fucking fives. I'm gonna give it down to 200, guys. 
We're gonna get in by 200, dude. A few moments later. Well, there's 200. Come on, someone's gonna squirt. Let's get squirt. Let's get squirt. Here it comes, right here. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Yeah, bitch! Let's get go, baby! Let's get go, baby! Okay, we're at 116. Okay, we're at 239, bitch. Yeah! Let's get go! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Final door win, boys! Oh, we'll take it. We'll fucking take it, baby. Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. Shake and fucking bake, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do a giveaway. Aren't you, like, fucking rich now, apparently, buddy boy? Shut up. Do a giveaway. How about you suck my balls? I'm rich now. Bossman gave me $300 to turn it into 13K. Do a giveaway. I'm going to leave it 600 just in case we get another one of those horse ones. <laughs> I will leave it 600 though. I am going to make myself leave. Oh, get out, 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 get out. Get out, Austin. Get out. Hold on, Johnny. Hold on, Johnny. Three more. One, two, and three. Oh, my God. Last spin. Oh, you fucking sucker. Dude, come on, come on, please, 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 Yes, 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 yes. Keep it coming, bitch. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get go. <laughs> oh shit. More, 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 more. Yeah. Let's get go. This slot's paying, dude. All right, last spin. Come on. Ah, we'll take it. We'll can take it. Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. Not cool. That balance is not cool, dude. That balance is not cool, dude. Gotta spin it one more time. <coughs> yeah, let's leave now. Yeah. So four hundred dollars for the day, dude. Four hundred dollars up in rehab. Say what? Coach me, boss. What? How to fucking how to play slots? Or click the button. Click the spin button. Train tracks right there. The train comes right by my right by the right by the building. We're straight downtown. I'll show you. Let me show you guys outside real quick. Damn, dude! Look at my fucking Jordans. Oh my god. Damn, dog. Four hundred dollars shoes. There's only eighteen of us sapping. Me and seventeen others right now. It's a very small group. Very much smaller than I'm used to. So being, this is my fourth time here. These are those Apple Air Max Pros. $500 headphones, dude. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, where is my vape, dude? Probably in the bathroom when I was taking a dump. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... So two rooms. Two rooms here. There's another room right here. I can't show you guys, but we share the same bathroom, so you have to unlock it when you're done. Which I don't like, actually, because it could come in and steal shit, but... Luckily, nothing's been stolen. I got this for Elden Ring, guys. I don't have a PlayStation, but it's for my computer. And then I got these. I got a really nice Ralph Lauren polo hoodie. That was 150 bucks. I've been ordering all sorts of shit to rehab. They don't care if I order shit here. And then here's my other sweatpants. I got two pairs of uh, Ralph Lauren sweatpants. As you can see, they're 125 each. They're 290 for two pairs after like one day shipping and shit like that. So anyways, I'm gonna show y'all. I can't go downtown. Hey, we got a cat here. We have a, a rehab cat too. Oh, hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Hi there, baby. Hi there, baby. Cool little good kitty cat bathing in the... Well, in the, in the shade, but still. Damn, that pussy nice. <laughs> Damn, that pussy nice. Got a cemetery right across the street. Kind of kind of sketch. More than half the, grave, the graves that are in this cemetery are from Civil War. This rehab was an old Civil War hospital. Probably haunted as a bitch, dude. But look, it's like straight downtown. You see, I'm like downtown, dude. A lot of history here. Especially Civil War, yeah. Some random shoes. Anybody want a pair of shoes? Not the easy, not the easiest, not the not the easiest, baby, not the easiest. But we got some uh, got some tap shoes here. Anybody want some tap shoes? It's in Virginia. I'm in Virginia. It's the same state I'm from. Go something stream, dude. One time I was here. You guys don't have to believe me. I was in a room with somebody, and my roommate, and I was like, the door kept moving, right? I promise you guys on everything I love. I said, if there's a ghost or there's something there, show me a sign. And the door closed all the way. I swear on everything I fucking love. I put it on everything I love. I would never lie to you guys. It was the most supernatural, scary thing I've ever felt in my life. We both jumped up. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. 
Okay, I'm honestly not surprised that he's the superstitious type. I've noticed that a lot of gamblers have that in common. I don't believe in any of that sort of stuff myself. I'm, I'm very much the skeptic, cynical type. I like to call myself just realistic, actually. Anyways, do you guys believe in ghosts? Let me know in the comments if you do or not. But if you do, drop us some ghost stories. I don't know. Give us the creeps. What the fuck, dude? It was crazy, bro. Not that I'm worried about anything. It's just I kind of believe in ghosts now. That's all. How could that coincidentally happen? How? Ghosts love to latch onto addicts. Sure. Someone in my chest says, ghosts like to latch onto addicts. That makes a lot of sense. You're an addict, bitch. You're an addict at lying. You're, an, you're addicted to lying. That's what you're addicted to. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, it's starting to make sense. Did you guys hear that? He said, when you're a drunk or an addict, you you open yourself up to, like, what is it? If you're, if you're constantly getting lying drunk, your defenses are down all the time. Okay. You're more vulnerable. Negative energy, negative influence easier to get into. Okay, you might be onto something, boss. That have you ever had any haunted experiences here? Nothing? Okay. Voices from the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> he said voices both from the drugs. I had a ghost from dude, I, I probably it was in it was in this room right here. That's the room I was in like a few years ago. It was the whole door shut as soon as I said that. Oh <gasps> cold chills even walking by that room, dude. What the fuck? Get me out of here. Someone break me out. Break me out, boys. I feel like it's impossible to quit. Dude, it's very hard. I know people have, but I can tell you one thing. I've been addicted to all sorts of shit, and the only thing that I've never quit is masturbating. I mean, <clears throat> I meant nicotine. Nicotine's the only thing I haven't quit. The ghost is trying to assassinate you. Yeah, like Donald Trump. Anybody else like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I love it. This is my room. <coughs> Look, there's an old fireplace, but no type of fireplace in it. That's how you know it's an old Civil War hospital type shit. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, they can visit me. This weekend was my first weekend, so all they could do is visit here. So I told them, don't even come. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Next weekend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my dad if I wanna go fishing or something. Go shopping, go fishing with my mom. Go shopping with my mom, go fishing with my dad, something like that. I, can, I can't do a live stream, though, unless I use my dad's phone, because when you go out on a pass, they say, you can't bring your phone. Dude, I'm allowed to gamble. They don't give a why would you put that in my in my cream me? You're fucking caught up in that weird shit too. You need to go too, boss. Trying to be the white knight savior. You're just as guilty as he is. Get out of here, bit. Hey, I'm gambling! I'm playing blackjack! Yeah! Put 200 on red, Johnny! I don't give a fuck if I'm gambling. They know what I do. They know I'm gonna gamble. I'm not getting high. What a fucking pussy, bro. What a fucking weirdo, dude. Like people are that obsessed and trying to bring me down. It's just so, so sad. <laughs> they just called me the office. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go play some blackjack. Let's go riz up a hot dealer. Hey. Hello there, governor. Do it like that. What? Like you they do it like that. I had, I thought there was something, uh, 13th stepping going on. Hey, hey, yes. on this, man. hey you got a cigarette? Either one of y'all? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Goat. You're goaded, Jake. I'm my goat. You are the goat. I know. Thank you. I don't got no riz. Come on. Hello, governor. I wouldn't get one of those watches, but I'm picky. I have to get a Rolex. Dude, I'm telling you, that girl is fine, dude. I'm serious. The girl that just gave me a cigarette? I just don't know how to fucking, I don't know how to riz, dude. I don't know how to do it. She's hot as fuck. I'm serious. I should have shown you her. I should have asked if she should, if she would get on here. I should have asked for her number. She's fucking hot as shit, dude. You think so, Dembis? I doubt myself. Now that I'm sober, I'm getting a little bit more confidence, so a little bit more. Back to the hideout where I left all my trash. Look at my, look at what I left out here. <laughs> I stay pulling back, looking like a gremlin. <laughs> At least you're honest. Shit, yeah, I need to get my game up, dog. I usually just whip it out and it usually works, but I can't do that in rehab. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hey, look at the hideout, though. Look, it's like under the trees. Look at this. It's a dope little spot, isn't it? To me, something about it just says blackjack all over it. Women more expensive than a $25 Plinko game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyways, let's go play some blackjack. Speaking of blackjack. Hold on, is my screen on still or not? Or not? Oh, it's been on this whole time? You guys saw when I went to the bathroom and looked up Kelsey Monroe and didn't even say nothing? What the fuck's wrong with you guys? Dude, I was in there for 35 seconds, dude. <laughs> She's bad as fuck, of course. She is bad, dude. She is a baddie. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my phone's about to die, bro. I'm just gonna do this until uh, I finish the sig and we'll go back in my room. My phone's about to die. All right, boys, the video's gotten pretty long already, so we're gonna have to leave the blackjack sesh for the next one. And I promise you guys, this time it's gonna be the last one. Four parts, that's it. And if you've been enjoying the ride, don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment, and join the Discord. I drop all of the awesome news there first. Alright guys, 
You know how this goes. This has been Pickle Time. See ya.